Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a tag video, five bags to keep and five bags to sacrifice. The five bags that I would sell are because I need the money for something big. Let's say a new home or a new car or perhaps even a new handbag. But we're gonna get into all the fun details. This tag was created by Fashionably Amy and I was tagged by Fabulous Irene brunette press and angeline thank you ladies for this fun tag so let's get right into it now if you're new i'm jamie i do a lot of videos on luxury fashion and neutrals i love it if you'd like and subscribe i'm going to start off with the bags that i'm going to keep so regardless if i needed the money i would keep these bags my first pick i don't think is a surprise for anyone and that's the classic flap in this beautiful 24 karat dark beige combination. There's just so many great things. It's been one of my top bags. I just love everything about it. It's like me in a handbag. My second pick goes to my trendy CC in the beautiful camel brown. It's a 28 series handbag. This is in the lambskin leather, so I would say it's a little bit more delicate then the caviar and it's gorgeous you can't get over this whole combination with the color and the hardware that's in the light gold this handbag is a nice alternative for my collection so if i'm not using my classic flap i tend to go for my trendy cc and i love the the top handle just a great change up from if you don't want a shoulder bag I find that the small size is the perfect size for this handbag. I'm 5'2", and I think it hits me just right. I can wear this crossbody, and I do, um, but it, it's such an easy grab-and-go option with the top handle. My third pick is a Chanel Filigree. This is in the black and beige combination with the gold hardware. This is a size small, which is my favorite size. I used to have the wallet on chain and then I changed it up for a little bit more space and I think it's perfect. It's got the single flap here so you don't have to worry about having another the double flap and with the additional weight. I love it in the caviar leather makes it a lot more durable. In the contrast with the black it's just that beautiful combination for me is I'm not a really big into black handbags but it has a little bit in it so it's like that perfect type of mix for me in my collection my fourth pick is the jumbo in the tan color with the giant cc's in the 24 karat gold talk about iconic Chanel this is totally vintage vibes all the way and it's a beautiful handbag I love the color so much and how it go blends just so well against the gold. This is a bag that it's not for everyone, but I'm such a big Chanel lover. This is one that I'm like obsessed over. I don't use it all the time because it's definitely more of a statement piece, a statement bag. So my outfits tend to be more understated when I wear this bag. And I also love the fact that this is a single flat bag, so it is easy to get in and out. With these vintage bags, a lot of times they, they tend to be more durable. I find just a lot more tougher of a leather, even though it's lambskin. So yes, beautiful handbag. My last pick goes to the Lady Dior in the small size in this gorgeous fard blush color and this one has the cute little twilly I added to it I just think it's such a nice combination against this color but yeah I had to mix up the Chanel but it, this is also a very iconic handbag and I love the top handle and it does come with the strap there's so much about this iconic handbag that I'm a fan of I like the canage quilting you have the jewelry on the front and even the champagne hardware the combination of this champagne gold with this blush leather I feel like hardware can be hit or miss on certain bags but I think time and again Dior does an amazing job I got this handbag around my birthday last year 
and this was a handbag that was always on my wish list and and finally I got it I'm so glad I did I don't know if I'll expand to other Lady Dior's because I keep wanting to gravitate toward this one which is a good thing and as we know what the price increases it's not getting any easier to add any more um, Lady Dior's but I'm so glad I did end up getting this one for my first lady okay now we're getting into the good stuff these are the bags that I would sell I'm gonna kick it off with my first pick being this YSL Lulu bag I'm a big fan of the Lulu it's one of my favorite styles from YSL but if you saw one of my more recent videos my 2021 wish list I do have the 19 on that list I think the reality is is I would continually keep using the Chanel 19 because it is from my favorite designer Chanel and if I wanted that more puffy bag type of oversized look I would reach for the 19 my second pick goes to another YSL bag and it's the college bag I know it's such a beautiful color and I do love it but I don't really reach for this bag as much anymore and I'm more into the gold hardware as well so I think with that combination I would rather sacrifice the YSL bags to keep more of my Chanel bags if that makes sense looks can be deceiving on this bag this is a small size and you almost want to think that it can fit a lot but compared to some of the other bags I think you could fit a lot more so with all of that I would probably get rid of the YSL college my third pick goes to the Chanel walk if you guys know I recently got this for Christmas and it's because it's just a smaller size I would opt to keep more of the bigger bags to be more functional in my collection I love the color I love Chanel I love walks I do but if you're needing the money I know Chanel has great resale value and again I would opt for a bigger handbag in my collection so that is why I would get rid of this beauty my fourth pick might be a little bit of surprise but it's the Louis Vuitton Capucines earlier on when I had this handbag I loved it it's actually one of those more dream bags for my collection but as my collection has evolved I find myself reaching much more for my Chanel bags so this is I think one of my all-time favorite bags from Louis Vuitton it's more understated I love the Galay color the leather it's the durability there's so many great things about this handbag but at the end of the day I just don't really use it certainly not to the extent of my other Chanel bags and also I know that I could get some decent money from this Louis Vuitton handbag when it comes to resell Louis Vuitton Chanel they tend to do well so this makes it more of an easier pick and certainly if I'm not using it it makes more sense my last pick this might be more of a surprise but I think that once you guys see it you guys understand and it's the white Chanel flap I purchased this a couple months back this is from the 19b collection it's my only white handbag and it's beautiful but I will say that I would prefer to keep my beige and tan handbags intact before I have to sell them when I compare my beige and tans bags and the usage there's really no comparison I use those bags a lot more the white handbag I will tend to use in the spring and summer months and even a little bit in winter pandemic is not helping anyone but yeah I think to be fair I would get great resell value from this bag I know I'm being it's Chanel and classic flap but I'm just not gonna touch the beige and tan bags okay can you blame me <laughs> okay guys I hope you enjoyed this tag video thank you ladies again for tagging me let me know were you surprised by any of these handbags I love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video take care